What if everything you've ever heard about Bitcoin 20K is actually false? You've heard of Bitcoin 20K. You've seen it everywhere in social media, in the comments section, on Twitter, polls, etc. You've heard about Bitcoin 20K. You've seen Bitcoin 20K everywhere. But what if I'm about to turn that world upside down? What if Bitcoin 20K is actually not a real thing? Now, Bitcoin has fallen from 69K all the way down to 25K, leaving one of the biggest bloodbaths Bitcoin has ever seen. There's a lot of price targets out there. There's a lot of theories out there. But in today's video, we're just going to dig into the facts and only the facts. And what we're going to uncover may surprise you with the reality about Bitcoin 20K. If you're new here, my name is Steve. I started in the stock market a little over 20 years ago, back when I was just 16. I made every mistake in the book. It was ugly. But over the past 20 years, I figured out how to dominate this game. And I'm here sharing my knowledge with you so you don't have to make all the ridiculously silly mistakes I did when I was a beginner trader. We've been in crypto since 2017 and our channel is focused on helping you use your crypto to gain financial freedom. Hit that subscribe button right now. Let's jump straight into the video. What we're going to discuss are the biggest moves in crypto. That's what we focus on. And I want to draw a lot of clarity to Bitcoin 20 K because there's a lot of misconceptions out there. And we're going to start with this chart. What I'm going to do with you right now is read this chart as if it were a book. And once we finish this book, you're going to have a lot of new realities and some misconception will, will become clear. Also in this video, I want to give my honest price targets of what I believe is going to happen in Bitcoin with these next major moves that are going to come for the rest of this year. Let's start right here. All right. What Bitcoin has been doing for the entire calendar year of 2021 and the entire calendar year of 2022 is simply bouncing between this channel. The top of this channel is at 61.8K and the bottom of this channel is at 29K. And you can see it here. We went from the bottom of this channel up to the top of the channel, back to the bottom of the channel, back up to the top of the channel. And guess what? Back down to the bottom of the channel. Now, this is not what we've been doing for one week or two weeks. This is the entire calendar year of 2021 and the entire calendar year of 2022. So nearly one and a half years, we've been just simply bouncing in this channel. Now, one might say, well, is it a possibility? Because we went from the bottom of this channel to the top, to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom. What should come next in this pattern? what nobody would ever be talking about? What if Bitcoin actually could go back to the top of this channel? Because that's the pattern, right? Bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top. One thing that nobody's talking about is the top. We're going to give our honest opinion. Is this a possibility? All right. But first and foremost, we've just been simply bouncing in this channel. Now, Bitcoin will not crash lower unless we close a body below this level. And we're looking at it on the monthly chart, but we simply have a lot of market structure here. Okay. And we have a lot of resistance here. We have a lot of support here. Those are just the facts. Now, Bitcoin cannot reach anywhere below here until we break this level. We have yet to do that. Okay. Now, what we want to talk about is Bitcoin 20K because if let's hypothetically say we do break this level with the body of a candle and we'll show it to you on the weekly chart so it becomes really clear, but I would like you to watch it on the weekly chart. Right now we're in the monthly chart just to keep it clean and simple. Now, if Bitcoin were to break here, right? A lot of people are targeting 20K and they're saying that 20K is the most significant level in Bitcoin, right? I see it on the comments of all of our videos and other videos and social media, etc. But I just want to draw some clarity to 20K and also give you some facts and evidence in the charts. Because here's where it gets interesting. 
if Bitcoin were to break this level, it has to go to its next market structure level, right? We've been having a lot of market structure here. This is our support. Once we break our support, it would become resistance and then we would fall to the next level of support, which is not 20K, it's 19.5. And when we look at the facts in the charts, we say, okay, how do we know this? Well, we had the top of our candle here in December and we have this body of this candle and this body of this candle. So we have three candles with confluence at not 20K, at 19.5K, all right? Now, a lot of people say this is the strongest level in all of crypto. This is the most significant level. Well, let's just look at the facts because we have three candles here, but at 13.7K, we have one, two, and by the way, these are bodies of the candles, three, four, five, six. So just using facts, we have six candles that play with 13.7K. We have three candles that play with not 20K, but 19.5. So we know based on facts that six is twice as powerful as three. So we could say that 13.7K is twice as powerful of a number as 19.5K. Now, the question becomes, could Bitcoin fall all the way to 13.7? Is this even a realistic opportunity for Bitcoin? Or could Bitcoin potentially climb all the way up to this level here and continue our bottom to top pattern? Those are the two questions I wanna dig into. And then I'm gonna give my honest take, just my honest take. And again, if you guys are new here, we focus on the biggest moves in crypto, hit that subscribe button right now. I wanna dig into a couple charts so we can show the facts in its entirety so you can have sound information, right? This is the three-day death cross. We started covering the three-day death cross about three and a half or four months ago, preparing our community for a mega crash. And again, we cover the biggest moves in crypto and that's what we've been focused on is just preparing everybody for a mega crash. We also prepared everybody for the move from about 30K up to this 48K where we were going to have a reversal and then mega crash. And we didn't use this using a crystal ball. It's just the facts in the charts. This is the three day death cross. We've only had two others in history and they all, all of them, both of them acted the same exact way. One thing that we can look at what will happen next in crypto is this green line. This green line is gonna be significant because once we had a three day death cross in the past, this green line acted as our resistance and we often came up to this green line to try to test th that resistance. And look no further than 2018. We crashed all the way to the bottom. We didn't really rally until we broke this green line. And you can see it even more clearly in 2014. When we had the death cross, we crashed down, we rallied up to this green line, we got rejected, we came back down. We rallied up to this green line, we got rejected, we came back down. We rallied up to this green line, we got rejected, we came back down. And it wasn't until we actually started holding this green line as support that things started to turn around. And then we held this green line as support for a few years. Now charts are pretty simple. Once you break resistance, it becomes support and it did so for years. And once you break support, it becomes resistance. And it also did that for years, all right? Now, simply using this theory, we already were rejected by this green line here. This is where we called for a major reversal, but we didn't. it didn't start here. We actually started getting resistance back here in December and then further in January, right? And that's where this downfall started to happen. So as we continue, look for this green line to become resistance. If somehow we break through it, then certainly Bitcoin could rally up to the top of this channel. But this is going to be heavy, heavy resistance, okay? So right now, it's unlikely that Bitcoin will break this line. Just using the facts, it's unlikely. Now let's look at the next chart to try to gain some clarity. We talked a lot about the Gaussian channel. This is our quicksand. We entered the quicksand in May of last year. We said that on average, Bitcoin enters the quicksand for about a year. And here we are one year later. Nobody at this time thought that that was real possibility. When we said it in our videos, they, they thought we were crazy and, and silly and all, all of these things. But here we are one year later, we're inside quicksand, okay? But the key was our change to red. We changed from green to red with rejection from a median line. 
We made a handful of videos about this because that's when the mega crash started to happen. And how did we know that? We just looked at history. When we change from green to red while getting rejected from our median line, then our mega crash ensues. And you can look at 2014 as well. Change from green to red while getting rejected from the median line, mega crash ensues. So is the mega crash finished? Well, what would have to happen is we would literally have to get back above this 40K. Now, we did point out in our videos, this is a dragonfly doji, right? This is often found, technically speaking, at the bottom of downtrends, signaling a trend reversal. So we called to look for that over the coming weeks, you know, five to 20 days, five to 25 days. Take a look at that. You can see us starting to build some structure here, but our first line of defense would be 36 and the next would be 40. We would have to get above 40. If we got above 40 and held it as support, then it's likely we would be holding this green line as support as well. So above 40 as support would be major, major for Bitcoin. Although right now, it's highly unlikely based on the facts in the charts. I want to cover our last chart, all right? This, this chart is very special, but when we cross below the stochastic RSI on the 20 level, it's our momentum. Our momentum is incredibly low. When our momentum is incredibly low, it's very difficult to reach new all-time highs. So once we crash below here, back in 2014, the same s distinct pattern happened. 2014, crash below, had a rally of 50%, and then a mega crash an absolute mega crash and it took 579 days to recover 2018 crossed below here had a 48 percent rally followed by a major mega crash it took almost 400 days to recover here we are in 2022 we dropped below here which we covered back in january and again these are the biggest moves you're going to make all of your money or lose all of your money with these largest moves in crypto. That's exactly what we cover on this channel. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the major moves next time. But what we covered on our channel back in the early days of 2022 in January, we dipped below here. We prepared everybody for a large rally, but a fake out rally. Why? Because that's what we did four years prior to that. It was the same distinct rally. Right. So we actually had a 47 percent rally. 2014, we had a 50 percent, 2018, 48 percent and 2022, 47 percent. So we had a pretty big rally, 47 percent. And then we prepared everybody for the mega crash because that's what happened on these other cycles. Right now, if we take that into consideration, we're in the midst of it right now. Is it likely that Bitcoin could continue this top to bottom scenario and rally to the top? It's not out of the question, but it's not likely, okay? It's just not likely. What would have to happen is Bitcoin to hold support at 40K. If we did, it would start to change all of the facts in the charts to more bullish, right? We would be above this green line, which we've never done, okay? We would be above the Gaussian channel back here holding that as support, okay? So that's what would have to happen to really turn this market around. And now let's talk about is 13.7 more likely than 19.5? Which is more likely? Which is more suitable? Which would happen? Now, here's what I'll say, okay? This is where the markets get really interesting and I wanna make my honest opinion, not based on what I hope is gonna happen or what my fingers are crossed thinking is gonna happen. It's just what the charts are saying. And I wanna make this non-emotional call to you so you have my raw, non-emotional opinion, all right? I wanna say this as well. These markets are devastating. They're tumultuous. It's, it's really a roller coaster ride, and I'm gonna be there with you every step of the way, all right? Every step of the way, I'm gonna be there. But what I've done is over the past 20 years, I've learned how to dominate these markets. I've taken all of that knowledge and condensed it down into the simplest and most dominating strategies, and we put it into courses. These courses have helped change lives all around the world. It helped take people from incredible losses in, in a portfolio that looks in shambles to turning around that portfolio and gaining financial freedom for themselves and their family, all right? We've got a pretty large sale right now because the market is in shambles. So go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. 
you can get our course bundle here or our indicators. Our indicators are our buy and sell alerts, right? You can get that by signing up here. Or you can get the most, the most popular one, which is the all-in-one. It combines the courses with the indicators all-in-one. This is the most popular one you can sign up here. Now, let me give my honest opinion. What my honest opinion is, is let's not try to make assumptions in the market. Let's try to base everything based on facts. There's 0% chance Bitcoin can reach 19.5 or 13.7 if the body of the candle doesn't close below here. That's a fact, okay? In order to close the body below there, that's when the market, that's when the floodgates are gonna open. And we'll look at it on a weekly chart. This is the chart I want you to watch. Bitcoin will not plummet any further until we close a body below here. Once we do, the floodgates are gonna open and that will be our capitulation. It's highly probable. This is the final level and this is the major level, right? We've been playing with this level all of 2021 in all of 2022. It's a year and a half of playing with this level. It's not a couple of days or a couple of weeks, but it's looking like we will close a body below here. And again, that's just the facts. If you look at all of the facts, it's looking like we will close a body below here, but we haven't yet. So we can't panic yet. Once we close a body below here, then it's likely we're gonna fall to the next level of support. And you can see this right here on your chart. It's not 20K. What people are misleading you about of 20K being the most important level and the level will fall to, it's not quite true. You can look at all of this resistance here. It wasn't at 20K, it's 19.5. And 19.5 is not the most significant level in the market. It's actually 13.7 is the most significant level in crypto. In all of crypto, it's 13.7. So I wanna make that point clear so you have the facts, right? I want you to have the facts in the charts. Now, is 13.7 a real, a real opportunity? Could Bitcoin actually fall to 13.7? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. It cannot until we close a body below here. And then 13.7 is the strongest level, okay? This is kind of our first level of defense. If we were going to war, this would be our first line of defense. And if that's broken, this is where uh, the major stuff will happen. 13.7 is a level that we've been talking about for many, many months. When we first brought it up, we got laughed at. Now this is a real, a real opportunity, okay? This is a real scenario that could play out. But again, what we would need to see is continued resistance from this green line and we would need to see a further uh, resistance from this 40K, and we would have to have the stochastic RSI stay below this 20 level. If you see the stochastic RSI get above this 20 level, the bear market's over, period, on the monthly chart, okay? So these are major, major levels to watch, and we have to have our rules in place. If Bitcoin gets above here in the stochastic RSI, it's likely we're above 40K, and it's likely we're holding that green line as support. All of those would be yes, and the bear market would be over. And we would know that the Gaussian channel would switch back to green, calling for the bear market to be over. But again, this is why you have rules as a disciplined trader. You don't go with what you're thinking is gonna happen or what you hope is going to happen. You have clear cut rules. In order to fall further, Bitcoin has to close a body below here. In order to reach 13.7K, Bitcoin has to continue getting resistance from this green line and getting rejection from 40K and having the stochastic RSI stay below 20. It's that simple, okay? Those are the facts in the charts. Those are my honest opinions. Hit that subscribe button. You can pick up the courses if you wish at CryptoCareerUniversity.com. If you have any questions on the courses, go to the website and click contact and I'll be standing by. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs. There's only one question left. When to sell your cryptocurrency? Click right here right now to find the three simple steps.